Okay, this is my Centec portable power pack. It's a uh, battery pack that you can use to jump your car if your battery's dead. It's also got a USB port on there. And I think these come off. Yeah, of course, cigarette lighter ports. That you can plug in. But the uh, way you charge this is on the back here. This piece actually goes inside here. I took it apart because it's broke. That's all jacked up. It doesn't charge. So I pulled it out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like 12 screws around here you have to take apart which I'm getting ready to pull apart again because I ordered a new one of these on Amazon. I'm going to see if I can get this thing back and working because these things are expensive. I think this one was 150 bucks. So I need it for my boat and my truck and for whoever needs some help. So I'm going to take it in the house, tear it apart and put this new part in that I got and see if it works. Okay, here's the back of it. And again, I took this out. This was mounted inside. So we'll remount this once I get it open back up. <clears throat> Need two screwdrivers, a small one and a big one based on the heads of the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws. So I'm gonna I already started ripping some out. So I'm gonna get the rest of these out, try to get them organized. Right there. This one must still be a little bit in. So that's the inside of it. Okay, here's the back case. This is the charger that I need to replace. It's got a bracket that holds it in with two screws. So you just take that out and then this is the broken one. This slides out and again you can see this is, it's broke. It does not work. So I got one on Amazon just by looking at the part number which will be in the description for the video. Battery charger, great way, TD-ADS 0.5. It's got some directions in there. We don't need directions. And this is the good one. See, that just snaps back and forth. Broken one, not broken one. So this is gonna go in here and then get mounted. This cord looks a little bit longer. That's all right. I probably should test it first, but who cares? 
So now it's, it's reassembly time. The hardest part, I think, is going to be hooking this wire up. To the control panel. Which is that connection right there. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if it's got one way or two way going in. I'm gonna have to sweat switch glasses here. Go to the 2.5s instead of the 2.0s. Should just snap right in there. Come on, baby. It's got some. It's hitting that wire right there. There we go. So that's in. These were all wired, crimped, but I don't even care. So what I did do when I took this apart is I took this handle off, which I didn't need to do. These two screws here do not need to come out. When you're taking the back off. big test which is in the garage all right hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out out in my garage gonna do the test see if the part works here's the back of it this actually just snaps out okay and I think what happened is the original one broke because it was open like that and it tipped over in the back of my pickup truck and actually snapped this so be careful always push this in when you're done charging so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook up an extension cord. The unit does come with its own cord, but I can't find the one for this. So I'm just going to use this regular extension cord and plug it in. Hopefully it stays in there and charges. And here's the moment of truth on the front. If it's charging, and it doesn't look like it's charging. So I think this was a fail because it's supposed to flash when it's actually charging and it's not flashing, which sucks. Let's make sure my plug is all the way in. It's a waste. And it's plugged in. That's just a test light. Yeah, so when it's charging, these are flashing. And it's not flashing, so it does not mean it's charging. So I'll unplug it. It does nothing. 
Oh, that was a fail. Fail. I'm going to have to buy a new one of these. Which I'm not digging. I'm not digging at all. Oh, it is working. I didn't have it plugged in all the way. So that means it's charging. So this does work. Shit happens like that sometimes. So I need to find that original charging cord because it pushes in a little further. I'm just using my garage work power tool cord. So that replacement part works. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Again, hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out. And um, that's it.